Hey guys, it's Rez. Welcome back to a new session. And today we're going to talk about resource qualifiers. Yeah. And I have some few guests here listening on to my conversation, so it's weird. So, uh, resource qualifier is pretty cool because it allows you to have a different settings or different value depending on the user himself settings. So, I'll give you an example. If his language is, is set to a different language than the default one you program for, you adjust your text to be that specific language. So if you said hello world in French, it would be for the French people, it would be bonjour le monde. Or, you know, depending on the language, you'll have different values. However, you could do that for any types of qualifiers. So the screen size, the screen width, the, the, um, the quality of your screen, the resolution, the, I don't know, um, well, we'll check all the qualifiers, but there is so many of them. If you could set it up in your settings inside Android, you could make your project change depending on that qualifier. So we're going to get started. I'm just creating a new application, calling it resource, press next. Um, let's just keep it to KitKat, whatever settings you guys want, next. And an empty activity, next. <coughs> Do, do, do. So I went online and I downloaded three flags. You guys do the same thing. Uh, my three flags are exactly the same size, so I don't have anything unexpected at the moment. And I'm not going to touch it yet, but later on we will play around with it, okay? So this takes a long time, man. So while we wait. Do, do, do. So the way the qualifier works on Android is you actually have different folders named the same except it has a little extension at the end. Not extension as a dot extension but as a type of dash. We'll see them. Um, however, when you look at your projects, so if we open up the project here, if you look at it as Android style, you won't really see those folders because you'll put them all together so you don't have that issue. So inside my res, look at my dryable is it empty, values is empty, I'm wondering, here we have one of them. So you see the qualifiers are saying HDPI, MDPI, XHDPI, etc. These are actually set in two different folders, the same name for the file. So one of the prerequisites, it has to have the same exact name. So what we're going to do is actually check that out. So I'm just going to right click on this folder, if my computer doesn't lag. And we're going to go reveal in Finder or show in Explorer, depending on your computer. Now, you'll notice if I go up one level, we have one for each, right? And the same files are in there, except they're different sizes. So if you look, we could see it by the size of the file and also by the, um, what's it called, the, the dimensions of the file, right? So the height and the width. See, like, this is a really big quality. This one should be the biggest. So you don't lose out, depending on their device, the quality of the image in this case. All right? So we could do the same thing with any of these folders that are here. Right? So this one is just for the mint maps. We could do for layout, drawable, and the values one. However, how do we know the qualifiers? There's way too many to memorize them. And it's a pain in the butt, too, to remember them or create a list and then you might make a syntax error and it would just not work. So I have a small trick for this. It's keeping it into the Android file. We're just going to go in our drawable and we're going to create a new drawable resource file. Okay. I'm just going to call it delete because I don't want to keep this file. It's just for me to figure out, um, it's for me to force Android to create those uh, qualifier folders so we get our stuff going. Okay, so if you look, the qualifiers, there's a bunch of them from version to dimension to what the user is doing at the moment, etc. I'm going to go on locals and I'm just going to go pick, um, let's see, English. We're going to go Canada. And we're going to create that. So the moment I create that, it's inside my drawable, it's going to create me this delete.xml. And you see the qualifier ENRCA, all right? 
again we're gonna right click on this new I'm gonna create a few of them before we even start anything again I'm gonna call it delete again I don't really want these files I'm just there from Android to create me these qualifiers you'll see what I mean in a second this time I'm gonna go on French and where is French French and we're gonna select Canada We'll make another video talking about qualifiers and how it goes from top to bottom, but for now, this is good enough to make us work out. So, we have two files right now ENRCA, which is English from Canada, the region Canada, and we have FRRCA, which is French in the region of Canada. So, we're going to go here and just switch the view of how we see our files to project view. Now if we open, we go in our app, oops, wrong one, source, main, and we go on resources, you'll notice that there's actually three files now, uh, three folders, with the same two files we created and the default one, which is called drawable, which is not there right now. So currently we could go in ahead and delete these. So I'm going to delete my XMLs, delete the delete.xmls, and you notice it deleted all of them, that's great. And we're going to go, just to make sure, we're going to open up our drawables. You'll see there's nothing in there. So we could do two things now. We could, one, drag our pictures into here, or drag our pictures into the project files directly on Android. Either or is fine. I'm just going to go drag it directly to Android. So first thing I do, grab the, this one. This one is Facebook. I'm going to go and say rename to flag and I'm just going to move it to um, let's say French for F for, for French right move blah blah do yet okay and now we have flag.png good let's go grab the other picture shit I have too many stuff so then we have uh, Android or actually, let's do the Amazon picture. Didn't mean to open it. We're going to rename this to flag. Drag it and put it for our English. And you should see a flag again. And lastly, we're going to grab the default Android picture. And drag this for our default. So the way Android works is it will try to be as precise as possible. So the more um, qualifiers you have, it will try to get the one that has the most of those qualifications. If you can't find all of them to be true, it will go to the next one, which is a bit lower, so a bit less qualifiers, until it will keep doing that until it reaches the last one, which is the default, saying, well, if you find nothing with any qualifiers that matches, then just use the default value, which is in this case drawable. You see no qualifiers, right? So let's go inside R. Let's switch this back to Android, much easier to navigate. Go in our layout. And right on top of our text view, we're going to add a image view. We're going to wrap content, wrap content. We're wrapping the content because this time the size should always be the same. Three pictures from the same uh, size and the same uh, source and etc. whatnot. So we're going to put source and we're going to use the IntelliSense here, which is telling us drawable has a thing called flag. And that's ours, right? We see it here. We press it that and we could even see our flag here has three different values. And you'll see the default because this has this has like no qualifiers. It's showing the first flag, which is the Android. So if we look here, we have the Android, right? If we switch to French, it should be this one, and English should be this one. So we're going to go ahead and run this. So running my application, we'll notice that the the French version came up. That's because currently, if we 
actually close our application here. Um, I had set my parameters to that. So going inside your settings, we're going to go to Languages and something. I don't remember the French one. So we're gonna go to languages and bring up let's bring up the default so everyone could see. So actually settings home. So on the default, uh, when you go to settings, scroll down until you reach language and input. So like languages. The one on the top is your settings. So I added a bunch of languages. Um, <clears throat> there's French Canada. There's English United States. And let's add English Canada. Okay, I'm just going to bring it up to here. So you'll notice the current setting is English United States, right? So we go and we're going to restart our app. Uh, what was this thing called? I think it was called resources or something. Here, resources. And you'll see it's showing the Android because the current setting is English. However, it's United States, not Canada. Okay, so that's that. Let's go bring up English Canada. So we put that as our first. We run the application again. And this time we see English. Canada, which is this one, right? Okay, good. And let's try it one last one. Oh my god. English Canada. And this one you see the F for the French. So again, you could uh, do this for anything from strings, colors, styles, and whatnot, which is really nice. And also, uh, you could use this for more than just qualifiers. You could use this as a, like here, it's a setting throughout your application. So if you're like Facebook, you want to have blue all over, you want to make sure that it's always the same exact blue, you would put it here as your whatever name you want. In this case, color primary would be the blue of Facebook. Right? So for every layouts you have, you will always be consistent, which is great. All right. So this was Reza. Please like, subscribe, and just ask me any questions in the comment box. Cheers.